This is the Dollamore Daily, and I'm Jesse Dollamore. I sometimes hate bringing the news that I bring. Sometimes I hate bringing the analysis that I bring. Sometimes I hate making the predictions that I make, especially when they come true. I've been beating a drum about violence surrounding Donald Trump and his candidacy in 2024. I've been beating a drum about his his calls to action, his whipping, his frothing base into a frenzy, uh, threatening, hinting at, encouraging violence on their part. There's been many instances. I've said how many times it's going to get worse before it gets better. And now we have polling data that backs what I've been saying for months and months and months. This is a, a headline from The Guardian. Anger and radicalization. Rising number of Americans say political violence is justified. Survey shows a small but significant share of Americans believe in use of force to attain political goals on both the left and the right. I think we know that this both sidesing is nonsense because the numbers I'm getting ready to read relate directly to the rising number of Americans who are Trump supporters who believe it may be necessary to use violence to get Donald Trump to be president once again. That is a completely different world than some people who are angry about abortion rights or something else. Because the violence almost exclusively comes from the right, even related to abortion, with abortion clinics being bombed, with abortion doctors being murdered in their churches. Here's the the article. The Dangers to Democracy report indicates that a growing number of Americans support the use of political violence as the 2024 presidential campaign heats up and further indictments of Trump are probably imminent. Maybe today. Maybe today. I mean, maybe tomorrow, but maybe today. The indictment is radicalizing support for Trump. But that's not the only source of radicalization, said Robert Pape, a University of Chicago professor who led the research. The number of Americans who believe the use of force is justified to restore Trump to the White House increased by roughly 6 million in the last few months to an estimated 18 million people, according to the survey conducted by the university in late June and shared exclusively with The Guardian. Of those 18 million people in America... 68% believe that the 2020 election was stolen from Trump, and 62% believe that prosecutions of Trump are intended to hurt his chances in 2024. Hmm, I wonder why they would believe those lies. I wonder why they would buy into that conspiracy. I wonder who started promulgating this lie back in February of 2020 before the election was really even on the radar. Before the campaign was in full, full swing, he was saying if he loses, it's because it was rigged. Prepping them for this. You see, this is rhetorically uh, engineered. The same with the thing that I'm talking about now with the violence. It starts as a trickle. Oh, that's nothing to worry about. And months down the line, it's an insurrection. An estimated 7% of Americans now believe violence could be necessary to restore Trump to the presidency, up from 4.5 or 12 million people in April. Look look at this graph. This is a remarkable uh, illustration of what we're talking about. If you look at the dip here, it dips, it's at its peak roughly, uh, in June of 2021. So following the insurrection, it, and then it peaked up, goes right back down, and now it's rising again. It is rising back to insurrection levels of calls for violence or justifying violence to, uh, to at- achieve their political goals. And their political goal, make no mistake, is to make Donald Trump president again, even if that means extra constitutionally outside of the scope of democracy. They don't care. They want him to to be president again. They want him to be king. They want to erect golden statues to him and stand by them. 
The university's Chicago Project on Security and Threats, CPOST Research Center, has been conducting dangers to democracy surveys of American adults on political violence and attitudes toward democracy since shortly after the January 6th insurrection at the U.S. Capitol. That would indicate this first peak in June of 2021. That's the peak. That's when they started looking into this. And it, it peaked up, and then it dipped down, and it's heading back up again. The most recent report marks the first increase in radical violent support for Trump since April 2022, according to Pape, who directs CPOST. Quote, the public is more radicalized than it was in April, and it's really quite significant, he said. We've been tracking this quite a while, and this is a really big bump. Now look, of course, by a percentage, it's not that big a deal. It doesn't seem like that big a deal. But when you put in context the number of people we're talking about, nearly 20 million people believe it's necessary or may be necessary to use violence to achieve a political goal, that political goal being inserting Donald Trump as president again. What? Somebody remind me, what, what is... What is it when you use violence to achieve a political goal? <sighs> oh, I just remembered. It's terrorism. That is terrorism. We have data, these data to back this up, that nearly 20 million uh, astray Americans believe that Donald Trump was uh, robbed of the presidency in some grand conspiracy by the deep state or whatever other nonsense, and they're willing to harm others to achieve Donald Trump being back in the White House. Again, I love being right, but come on, not about stuff like this. People need to wake up. People need to be waking up to the fact that Donald Trump is absolutely on a path to call for violence again. And if the feds don't wake up, if they don't take care of this problem, we're going to witness another, maybe larger, maybe more violent, maybe more deadly attack. What do you think? Am I wrong? You can... Um, Leave a comment below. That would be fantastic. You can also call and leave me a brief voicemail, 714-576-4054. Of course, you can email me also daily at dollamore.com. Follow me on social media. I'm at Dollamore on Twitter, Instagram, threads, TikTok, all the social media. I'd love to see you there. And if you appreciate me and I bring you value, if I do something for you that's worth $1.99 a month, please consider supporting my work, helping produce what I'm doing here. Click the join button below, become a channel member for $1.99 a month. Click that super thanks button below or go over to patreon.com slash I doubt it podcast. Uh, thank you all for all your support, your loyalty, your dedication, your viewership. It means uh, the world. Uh, being at 500,000 subscribers, although <laughs> it is amazing as soon as I stop talking about it, pew, subs just, uh, they dipped right back down to normal. So thank you for... Uh, um, heeding the call. Uh, I'll see you next time. I appreciate you very much. Be genuine. Take care of one another.